Today is National Fentanyl Awareness Day, and it comes as deadly overdoses from the drug have surged in recent years. The number of children and teens who died from fentanyl overdoses increased 30-fold from 2013 to 2021. The head of the DEA says that social media has created a superhighway for Mexican drug cartels to push fentanyl across the border. Right now, the Justice Department is pushing social media companies to crack down on drug dealers on their sites. The drug is a major issue here in Arizona. Nearly half of all fentanyl seized in the U.S. comes right through our state. Maricopa County officials worry that the problem could only get worse as the humanitarian crisis on the southern border could be exploited by drug traffickers. Team 12's Michael Doudna talked with top county officials about their plans to fight the drug crisis and also what they're up against. Every day, an average of five Arizonans die from an opioid overdose. The statistics are staggering. And on the second ever Fentanyl Awareness Day, Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell and County Supervisor Clint Hickman sat down to discuss the fight against the drug. Every decade seems to bring a new drug, and every decade it seems like the drugs are getting cheaper and more addictive. And this era's drug is fentanyl. Cheap, addictive, deadly. And for years, cartels have used Arizona as a hub to cross over into the U.S. and ship to other states. Maricopa County is really ground zero for fentanyl smuggling. And as the DEA has seized more and more drugs, Mitchell's office has seen more and more fentanyl related charges, seven times higher now than in 2019. And those people have to go to prison. They, they are bringing death into our community. Right now, Arizona is on pace to have even more fentanyl related charges this year. And Mitchell worries that as Title 42 expires, well, cartels will use the humanitarian crisis to exacerbate the issue. They're going to have to try to screen that many people. That's going to be impossible. I, I can't see how it would not get worse. So what can be done? While Mitchell and Hickman want a comprehensive approach from border policy to rehabilitation to, yes, education to not do drugs. It might sound naive uh, back in the 80s when Nancy Reagan said, just say no. I, I'm, I'm a person that is begging kids to say no. The reality is many of the solutions of today are similar to the plans of the past. But faced with a seemingly never-ending flow of drugs, doing nothing is not an option. It, it is an overwhelming problem um, that we are continuing to fight because not fighting it means more people die. Michael Doudna, 12 News.